railway line ran just alongside the park. Every few minutes, steam trains would pass by, some express trains on their way via Bangor to and from Holyhead, and then the Welsh Dragon, a local train which seemed to pass several times every day. It was on this holiday that my love affair with steam trains began, and I began to write down the numbers of the engines. I bought my first Ian Allen ABC of British Rail Locomotives, the Bible for train spotters all over Britain. Split into four sections, based on the four main pre nationalisation companies, the Great Western Railway, Southern Railway, London Midland Scottish and the London North Eastern Railway. Here is the 1952 edition of my Ian Allen ABC book. Each train I spotted was meticulously underlined in ink. It was a hobby that was to last over seven years, and as you can see, there weren't many mainline locomotives I didn't see in that time. Several of my school holidays were spent loco-spotting, organised parties visiting stations and locomotive sheds everywhere from Scotland to South Wales and Devon, often for a week at a time. Look through the pages of my first photograph album and you'll see pages of photographs of prized steam locomotives spotted that day. You may remember back in 1979 I wrote a song called The Railway Bridge at Crewe, taking a nostalgic look back at the many happy hours I spent on the footbridge leading to the workshops at the north end of Crewe Station. I wrote in the song about Royal Scots, Jubilees and Stanier Black Fives and if you look in my book you'll see Jubilee Class Locomotive Number 45596 Bahamas and Stanier Black Five Class Number 44767, both underlined. Here they are, double-heading a steam train special on the West Coast main line between Carlisle and London Euston, a route which passed under that old railway bridge at Crewe. As we listen to my original 1979 recording of the song, let's enjoy once again the sights and sounds of those wonderful steam locomotives filmed at places all over Britain I visited as a teenager. <laughs> Many country songs are sung about the famous trains that run from coast to coast across the USA. Of hobos hitching rides on trains across the mountains and the plains, stories of the trains of bygone days. An age of steam now dead and gone, but living still in words of song, the Wobash and the streamlined cannonball. The golden rocket's on the line And Casey Jones is there on time These songs, I guess you've heard me sing them all But when I look back to days of youth And if my song be based on truth I shouldn't sing about old number nine I shouldn't tell of far up lands Of mountain pass, no desert sands I always call the track the railway line Although in England I was raised, I spent many happy days Just watching trains go by, that's what I do Not from the foothills of Blue Ridge, but from the little railway bridge That overlooks the main line north of Crewe That bridge at Crewe is where I spent my time Below me I could see the railway line Where iron horses in the sunlight gleam they're belching up those clouds of smoke and steam The regulator opens and the wheels spin madly round A trainload full of passengers are headed Scotland bound Those locomotives seem to come alive The Royal Scots, the Jubilees and Stanier Black Fives
Nowadays it's not the same For diesel and electric trains Don't thrill me like the steam of years ago And the biggest thrill I always got Was to see a coronation stop Hauling trains below me to and fro A dozen trains or more an hour Hauled by tons of motive power With pistons thrashing then the whistle blew Oh, happy memories came and went I always think of the times I spent Just standing on the railway bridge at Crewe Of distant days I often yearn And if the days of steam return You'll find me standing on that bridge at Crewe Just one more thing before leaving the subject of trains and moving on. If you remember some of my other videos, I always seem to pick exotic spots to say a few words as an introduction. For example, for my 1988 Round the World video, I was near the beach on the beautiful Hawaiian island of Kauai. Two years later, it was in the Blue Mountains, 70 miles west of Sydney in Australia. And then in 1995, on Green Island, on the edge of the Great Barrier Reef. So why not Crew Station? The railway platform at Crew. And could it really be over 45 years ago that I first came here as a teenager to watch steam trains zooming up and down the line between Houston, Scotland, and Liverpool? That one coming in is just going to Shrewsbury, which isn't really very romantic, but the one at the north end of. Stations are noisy places, so how about a simple introduction filmed in my back garden? <laughs> 